So, we've all been there. One moment, your cat is purring and peacefully licking you, and the next, out of nowhere, they decide to bite. What is that all about? Turns out, there are actually five different reasons why your cat does this. And shockingly, the specific spot your cat chooses to lick and bite you, whether it's your hands, feet, face, or even your hair, reveals a lot about their feelings towards you. Before we dive in for the answers, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community. Affection So here's where your cat is tapping into a deep-rooted instinct that dates back to their kittenhood. Picture the way a mother cat grooms her kittens. She licks them for cleanliness, but she also often uses those gentle bites to keep them in place during these grooming sessions. The key word here is gentle bites. They're just a non-aggressive way to make sure the kittens stay put. Fast forward to today, and your cat employs the same instinctive gesture. They bite just enough to grab your attention, not to hurt you. It's their way of saying, stay still, I'm taking care of you. Interestingly, cats are quite attuned to our emotional states. Research has uncovered that they can sense when we're stressed and respond by increasing their licking and biting behaviours. And the most heartwarming part here is that this is actually a huge sign of trust and bonding. When your cat chooses to groom you, they're including you in their family circle, like their mom did during their kittenhood, showing that they feel safe and comfortable with you. Overstimulation it turns out cats have a much lower tolerance for sensory stimulation compared to us humans. So, here is how it happens. One minute, they're in a blissful licking session, almost like they've entered a trance of self-soothing, and the next, they snap out of it with a bite. It's not a personal attack. They're just overstimulated. When they're licking you, they might unintentionally overstimulate themselves. Then, biting just happens. It's an automatic response to too much of a good thing. Researchers have been looking into this, and they've discovered that cats actually give us signals when they're getting too much stimulation. Before they resort to biting, they will usually twitch their whiskers or flatten their ears. Surprisingly, cats that were separated from their mothers too soon tend to have a lower threshold for touch. This early experience can make them more prone to overstimulation biting. It's as if they missed out on some crucial lessons in how to chill. You taste good. So this one might sound a bit weird, but cats are drawn to the taste of human skin. Yes, our sweat is like a gourmet snack for them, thanks to its saltiness. And it's not just your skin they're after. Cats have been known to lick or even chew on items that smell like their favorite human. But there's actually a very serious side to this licking behavior we need to talk about. If you've got lotions, essential oils, or perfumes on your skin, never ever let your cat lick you. Many of these products contain substances that can be toxic to our feline friends. There have actually been many cases of these types of cat poisoning, so yeah, not a good idea. Territory Did you know that your cat is a bit of a property mogul? Yes, they've got scent glands on their cheeks, paws, and even at the base of their tail, which they use to mark everything they consider theirs. This includes their favorite couch, that corner of the bed you thought was yours, and you guessed it, you. When your cat licks and then bites you, they might actually be marking you as part of their territory. Think of it as their way of saying, this human is mine and I'm keeping them. And when your cat follows up a lick with a bite, they're actually making their claim on you even stronger. The bite gives them a chance to leave a more distinct scent mark through direct contact and the transfer of saliva. While it might seem a bit backward when your cat wants to claim you as their territory, but actually take it as a compliment. They see their territory as a safe place and you as their safe human. But if you're not too keen on becoming a walking, talking cat territory marker, there's a simple solution. Give your cat plenty of their own stuff to claim. Cat trees, toys, comfy beds, you name it. This way, they can satisfy their need to mark territory without turning you into a human scratch post. Play. 
When it comes to playtime, your cat isn't just having fun, they're honing their natural hunting skills. That gentle or not so gentle bite you get during a play session. It's actually a critical part of their development. Researchers have found that play-induced bites help kittens and young cats develop their coordination and understand social boundaries. But here's a bummer. Not all cats grow out of this playful biting. In fact, a lot of adult cats keep their kitten-like zest for life, continuing to use biting as a way to play. They're not trying to hurt us, they simply haven't realized that what's fun for them might be a bit painful for you. What your cat's bite place reveals about their feelings towards you. Ever noticed where your cat chooses to nibble on you? Believe it or not, the spot they pick can actually tell you a lot about how they feel towards you. So, what are these biting locations? When your cat opts to nibble on your hands or fingers, they are engaging directly with the parts of you that interact with them the most. This specific choice suggests a desire for interaction or play, distinct from the more passive affection shown through grooming behaviors. Moving to the face, particularly when your cat focuses on your nose and cheeks, the message deepens. This is a replication of the most intimate grooming behavior reserved for those they feel closely bonded with. Unlike the playful engagement of hand biting, face nibbling is your cat's way of including you in their innermost circle, indicating a level of intimacy and trust that goes beyond the day-to-day -day interactions. Hair biting or nibbling takes this a step further by engaging in a communal grooming ritual. When your cat grooms your hair, they're actively participating in a behavior that, in the wild, strengthens the social bonds within the group. It's a clear signal that they view you as part of their family. Lastly, when it comes to biting at your feet, it stems from a blend of curiosity and affection. Feet are often less accessible and represent a different form of exploration for your cat. This behavior might still be about testing boundaries or showing affection, but it's also heavily influenced by curiosity and the unique sense and tastes that your feet carry. It's a more exploratory behavior, showing that your cat is comfortable enough to investigate every part of you. How to stop biting. First things first, the solution isn't found in punishment. No spray bottles, no yelling, and definitely no physical reprimands. Why? Because these methods don't teach your cat what you want them to do. Instead, they might just end up scared of you. So what can you do instead? Stop whatever interaction you're having with them and walk away. Let's say you're in the middle of playtime, and suddenly, out of nowhere, they decide to bite. Instead of reacting negatively, just end the game. Cats are smart, and they're great at picking up on patterns. If biting means the end of fun activities, they'll start to put two and two together. Bite my human? There goes my playtime. It won't take long for them to realize that biting isn't the best way to keep the good times rolling. According to many vets, your fridge and pantry hides a lot of healthy superfoods with incredible benefits for your cat. So check out this video to find out what they are, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.